This is part two of the video tutorials, which will demonstrate the scanning sequence of HP's 3D Structured Light Scanner Pro S3. Now that the calibration is achieved, remove the panel and reset the turntable and object in position using your marker on the work surface. Perform adjustments of the scanner and or object to reframe the object in the center of the scan window and the live camera windows. Let's go through some basic navigation of the scanning window. Click on the scanning tab. There is a live camera view which shows the object being scanned, a 3D scan view which shows the scan result, and the camera windows. In addition, there are icons for auto adjust, show textures, take a screenshot, and screenshot folder. These icons will be looked at more closely later in the video. Now let's configure the software. On the left hand side, the pattern parameters profile has four settings, quality, default, speed, and custom, which dictate the number of patterns in the scan process. In this demo, quality will be used. The first scanning field has four values, single scan, manual scan sequence, automatic turntable, and background scan. We will be reviewing background scan, automatic turntable, and manual scan sequence. There is also an option for a single scan. Further details are available in the HP Online Instructions Scan an Object. In order to reduce steps in scan cleaning, first do a background scan. This allows the software to recognize the background interference and suppress it automatically. Remove the object, click on the background scan, and let it process. Once background scan is done, reset scan selection to automatic turntable. Automatic turntable settings for this demo are total scan angle at 360 degrees. The number of scans will be six which will calculate the scan angle automatically, in this case, 60 degrees. Auto grab texture will be set to on, which will capture color. The values in the scan result box will be left at default values, with background removal checked on. The starting scan number can be set by the user, and the system will number each scan sequentially. Reposition the object. The last step before scanning is to recheck the sharpness and focus in the scan window and the camera windows. You can change the angle of the rail and the distance of the rail from the object, but it is highly recommended that mechanical settings of the projector or camera mechanical settings remain static to achieve the best results. If any mechanical settings are changed, calibration steps must be repeated. Using the brightness slider on the right-hand side of the software panel, adjust the red sine waves to achieve optimum attenuation. When scanning an object of varying light and dark textures, the camera exposure slider may also be used to make other fine adjustments. Typically, this would not be necessary and the maximum exposure setting should normally suffice. When satisfied with the scan window view and the camera windows, click the scan button to start a scan cycle. All scans are added to the list of scans and aligned automatically when the turntable is connected. As each scan completes, it appears briefly in the 3D scan view. The software cleans and aligns each scan as it processes through the cycle. Note that each successive scan is aligned to the one immediately preceding it. When completed, the finished result can be viewed in the 3D scan view for final cleaning, alignment, and fusion. For this demo, let's flip over the object and repeat the automatic scan sequence to obtain a total of 12 
scans. Now that the initial scans are completed, let's learn how to view and manipulate them. Click on the Shape Fusion tab. All the scans are displayed on the right-hand panel. We will be looking at the left-hand panel in the next tutorial. Click on the eye icon to toggle scans visible. The icon next to each scan turns them on and off. Click on the select box to select or deselect scans. The box next to each scan selects on or off. Click all scans off and then make one scan visible. There is a row of icons across the top of the software window. Auto adjust centers a scan. Texture changes from color to false color. Show edges displays the scan triangle edges. Show normal displays the scan vertices. Show color bar is used for scan comparisons and will not be discussed here. The screenshot icon takes a screenshot of the scan window and the folder icon stores them. Let's look at the one scan. Click left mouse and move mouse to move the scan. Scroll the mouse wheel to zoom. Click right mouse button down and move mouse inside or outside white circle to rotate the scan. Let's open multiple scans. Control click chooses multiple scans. Click left mouse and move mouse to move scans. Depress shift key and click left mouse button to move one of the multiple scans. Depress shift key and right mouse button inside or outside white circle to rotate one of the multiple scans. Further details are available in the HP Online Instructions, use the 3D Viewer. Review the scan results and determine where additional scans are needed. When objects are complex or when additional scans are needed, to capture areas of the object that were hidden from view, such as the underside, it may be necessary to perform additional manual scans. The cleaning and aligning of these manual scans will be addressed in Tutorial 3. Click back to the Scanning tab and change the scanning field to Manual Scan Sequence. In this mode, you can use free motions, horizontal turns, or even a manual turntable. Further details are available in the HP Online Instructions, Choose the Scanning Mode, and Scan Result Filtering. In this instance, the free motions will be selected. Also, check the Auto Grab Texture and Auto Next Scan boxes. Auto Next Scan senses when the object is moving. When movement stops, the next scan begins. In Manual Scan Sequence, you can take multiple free motion scans, which will be captured and automatically added to the existing list of scans. Let's scan the underside of the object. When ready, click the Scan button to start first scan. Watch the blue scan bar next to the Auto Next Scan box. When the first scan is completed, manually move the object to next desired position. When movement stops, next scan begins. Continue these steps until all additional manual scans are complete. Then, click the Finish Sequence button. Note that additional scans have been added to the original list of scans. This ends Part 2 of the video tutorial, Scanning. In our final video, Part 3, Scan Alignment and Fusion will be demonstrated.